You guys, did y'all hear about the 99 cents Hobby Lobby sale that hit Instagram and YouTube? And I'm coming in to share my pattern haul with you guys, but also tell y'all some staple patterns that I would pick up because I know that Hobby Lobby are putting new look patterns like every day. They are not clearancing them like in like all at once, it's in different batches. So you might have to go back to Hobby Lobby several times to get the patterns that you want. Now, if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I'm gonna try to keep this video short sweet to the point give you all the deets and the news that you can use on this video but if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, child, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you're returning, you guys know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, grab those notebooks, because you might want to write these down. Because many of you ask me, because Hobby Lobby is definitely slashing prices on new look patterns, and if you guys don't know, McCall's and Nomi is part of that as well, they're supposed to be making room for new patterns. However, let me tell you, the last time I've been in a Hobby Lobby was 2020 before. Actually, it was right when pandemic hit. So I'm, not, I'm just going to put it like this. I'm not one who normally goes in Hobby Lobby because they didn't have pattern sales. So it was no need for me to go inside Hobby Lobby. So I was always Joanne's. But I happened to be in Joe, uh, I'm sorry, I happened to be in Hobby Lobby with the hub and he picked up one of the new look patterns and it actually said 99 cents, but it wasn't one that I wanted. So I was like, hmm, let me go over to the pattern drawer. I didn't think it was in the clearance section, but I went over to the pattern drawer and the pattern drawer did not ring up as 99 cents. I didn't know that they were in the clearance section. So you have to go to the clearance section in order to see these patterns. That's number one. Number two, I only went inside Hobby Lobby. Like I mentioned, last time I was in Hobby Lobby was like 2020. I only went because I was riding with the hub and he needed to get some spray paint because he was spray painting some something for me. So I went, right? Um, and Hobby Lobby is the only place where I could get the spray paint I already checked Joanne's and he was actually spray painting another one of these thread things for me. So I remember getting, so I, I have mentioned this before. I got these from Hobby Lobby way back in like 2019, 2020. And he was trying to match up the paint that it's already on these for a different one that I'm going to be putting on the other side of the room. So with that being said, I went and you know, you look like that boring wife that's just walking through the store like, mm, there's not really nothing here for me, but I'm just here to support, you know? So I walked, he picked, he, he was just like, hey, did you see this? This is 99 cents. And I was like, 99 cents, hold on. I go over to the pattern drawer, grabbed one pattern. This was last Saturday, grabbed one pattern. And when I say I grabbed one pattern, went up to the register because there was no need to put a whole bunch in there if it's not 99 cents. Grab one pattern and she's like, the total was $4 and 60, 61 cents. I was like, uh, these are not, not, not 99 cents. She said, no, I updated on Instagram to let you guys know. And my apologies, because a lot of you was like, Rochelle, you have to go to the clearance section. At that point I was already gone from Hobby Lobby, right? Because that's not the best place for me, okay? I don't I don't typically go in Hobby Lobbies, but, you know, for the 99 cent sale, I will go. All right, so fast forward, I think it was Monday, Tuesday, I came back in to let you guys know that I went to Hobby Lobby, picked up some, and I'm gonna be sharing those with you guys. So let's go ahead and start off with this video. So I'm gonna kind of break this video down into what I feel are good wardrobe staples easy to sew, no notions, and kind of like elastic only um, patterns as well. But they're all combined into one video, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know how many it is, but it's less than 20. I could tell you that, I assure you. They were pulling patterns from the pattern drawer when I went, so she didn't have enough time to put 99 cents on them. 
So the next bunch, if I decide to show the next bunch, because it's quite a bit on the second batch, they also have, they have 99 cents on the second bunch, but they're still putting more out. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the first pattern. And I'm gonna put all of these up on the screen for you. I may not be putting the pattern pieces for you, but I will definitely be putting the number up for you, the pattern photo, all right? So the first one, Great Wardrobe Staple Pattern. It is New Look 6109. And the reason why I picked it up is because I like this color block detail, what the model is wearing. It is view B and view E is what I'm interested in doing on this pattern. Um, like I mentioned, this is a good wardrobe staple pattern. View B is a no notion pattern, whereas view E, you only need elastic. So I feel that this one is kind of like a great out to work uh, for those of you who kind of like at home mom or work from home, this pattern would be a great one not to just wear loungewear, but still be put together if you have to go outside the house. But once again, it's 6109. Now I'm not gonna be saying new look only because every last one of these are new look. All right, so next pattern is 6153, easy to sew pattern. I will put this in the easy to sew section as well. I would also put this pattern in the no notion section. So write this down. This is a no notion pattern for sure. So there's no notions at all, okay? Um, this is 6153, by the way, it is a coat. Now, I know you're wondering like, Rochelle, do you really need a coat in Florida? Yes, we do from time to time. I did a coat, Butterick 6720. I did a whole complete sew along. This may be one that I will do because it's a no notion pattern. This is one that I probably would do come fall. So I will write this one down on my fall to make list. Um, and probably do this about a fall. I don't know how many pattern pieces it would be, but this is 6153, write it down, all right? Next pattern is 6249, this one right here, easy to sew pattern. I know Mimi G did this pattern before. Um, this one is a no notion pattern, unless you are doing view C, and view C, you will need two yards of a half inch white braid or leather trim if you decide to do view C, which is this view right here in the green. Now, like I mentioned before, no notion, easy to sew, all of that good stuff. But this is 6249. Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern, I think this is a good wardrobe staple that you can put in your wardrobe. I also feel that this pattern would be great for those work from home individuals, those stay at home moms, those individuals who are retired that just need something to throw on, go to the grocery store, go out to the park, go out and hang with, with your retiree friends, okay? Because I would definitely do that. It's 62.98. It's an easy to sew just for net pattern, easy to sew dress. I love what the model is wearing, view B, this one right here. So I like that one. I would actually do the V neck, but also the crew neck as well, view B and view D. Um, this one, like I mentioned, no notions, write it down. This is a no notion pattern, but also a good wardrobe staple pattern, all right? But it's 62.98. Moving over to the next one is 63.24. This one is a no, uh, it's not really a no notion pattern, all right? It's an easy to sew pattern, I could say that. Now, in terms of notions, for view A, you're going to need two decorative closures. View C, you're gonna need some ribbon, and then view D, you're gonna need a hook and eye. So you're gonna need some notions for this one. Now, what I like about this one is the color block that's going on in view B. Now, this one is six pieces. I did write this one down. My, my daughter actually wrote it on the pattern for me while she was fouling, getting ready to foul these. Um, one thing I like to do is write the pattern season. So that's why it took me a couple of days to go back in and figure this out, all right? But uh, this one is the one that I want, is view B on this pattern. Once again, it's 6324. Next pattern is another easy to sew pattern. It's 6416. This one is a no notion pattern. Unless you're doing view B, you're going to need some trim or some fringe or whatever, right? But all the other views, A, C, and D is no notion. I think this would be a great lightweight uh, throw on jacket. Now, if you remember when I did New Look 6742, that blue jacket, it reminds me the same thing. So I feel like this would be great for the fall as well. Um, easy to sew pattern, minimum pattern pieces, 
and no notion, your girl is here for it. But this is 6416. Next pattern is 6411. Now I feel like the next batch are great wardrobe staple patterns, also easy to sew patterns. That's what I was going for y'all. Um, so this is the easy sew pattern, it's 6411. I like the fact this is a self dress, a sheath dress I should say. Some people may say it's a shift dress to each his own, right? Um, but I feel like this is just a simple, elegant dress that you could throw on. I like the fact that it has two zippers on view B, what the model is wearing, but I also like the fact that this one, you only need a button. Like this is literally a throw on dress. Um, for all views, you're going to need a button in the back. It's like a button closure in the back, but I do have a video where if you don't want buttons and you like me, you could just do ties. I have a video for that. I'll drop it in the description box below. Also, you're, the only other notion you're gonna need is view B have the two zippers right here at the shoulder area. Um, but other than that, easy to sew is 6411. Next pattern, 6421. Now I feel this one is a great wardrobe staple. stable. I feel like this is one that you should put in your uh, wardrobe is 6421. I like what the model is wearing, view B and view D. It's what I'm here for. I'm not a fan of the skirt whatsoever. Um, but yeah, those are the two things that I would do. So in terms of kind of like the pants, the pants minimum pattern pieces, about four pattern pieces. And then view A or B, I could see kind of like a front back sleeves, that's three. And then um, the neck facing, front and back neck facing could be five. And then like, a, it looked like it have a sleeve band as well for this pattern 6421. So I can see probably about six pattern pieces for view B. So once again, it's 6421. Moving over to the next one, 6458, a good staple wardrobe pattern. Anita from Anita by Design, she has a complete sew along on her channel for this one. Um, you can actually see that <laughs> it says Hobby Lobby right there. Um, anyway, it's an easy to sew knit pattern. I feel like you could literally do every last um, make on this one. Minimum pattern pieces for sure. Go over to Anita by Designs uh, page so you could see her sew along for this pattern. This is pretty much a no notion pattern. Outside of doing the skirt and the pants, you will need elastic for the waistband, all right? But once again, it's 64.58. Next pattern is 64.76. This is Monica from That So Monica. One of her favorite patterns, I picked it up. Finally, it took forever to get this pattern. It's an easy to sew pattern. I feel like this would also be a good wardrobe staple pattern only because I feel like who doesn't need a kimono or a duster in their wardrobe? Let's just say that, all right? But it's 64.56 in terms of notion, you're only gonna need a half an inch wide single fold bias tape. You can make your own, okay? But it's 64.76. Next pattern, now these patterns that I picked up, they were all random patterns. Most of them will be easy to sew and the only notion you're probably going to need is a zipper, okay? Zipper, all right? Now this one, I feel like this one could be kind of like a quick and easy. If you have something at work where you need to get put together real quick, this would be for you. This pattern is 6,000, all right? Six, zero, 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 okay? Now I like what the model is wearing, but I also like the sleeveless view on view B as well. Now in terms of notions, you're gonna need a 22 inch zipper as well as some buttons. Like I said, you're gonna, it, it's, it's, you're gonna need some zippers, okay? Oh, just one zipper out down the back. This is an older pattern, so it may be hard to find this pattern, but I would say do a dumpster dive into the drawer and then just wait for them to put it on clearance, all right? But once again, it's 6,000. Next pattern, very old pattern, I could see because it says Project Runway. Now, I'm not saying Project Runway is old, but I'm pretty sure this pattern came out when Project Runway first aired on TV, okay? Because it says workroom, okay? <laughs> and this pattern is 2051. So, this one is like a great throw on Captain style pattern. And I like that it has a little sassiness. You can lengthen it if you choose. Um, this one, 
as well. But view A is more of like just the top and then view B is the dress. Of course, if I make this, I would lengthen it. I would also use Charmeuse in order to do this one as well. But in terms of fabric, if you do view B, you need one pack of seven eighth wide single fold bias tape. That's all you need. That's all you need for this one, all right? But once again, it's 6051. Moving over to the next one is 6048. It's a project runway pattern once again. I love this, okay? I love what, I don't know if it was the fabric speaking to me or what, but I love that sweetheart style dress, okay? In terms of notions, you're gonna need a 14 inch zipper. Now, if you look at it, it doesn't show necessarily where the zipper is, but I wanna say it's probably on the side. So I would like leave it. Now, I don't like zippers like underneath my arm. So what I would probably do is move the zipper to the back and have a back zipper instead of a side zipper and use an invisible zipper. We will see, all right, when I get to this pattern. But that's what you're gonna need. Now, for those of you who's like, Rochelle, I do not like zippers. What you can do is size up that portion where you put the zipper by 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and go without a zipper. But then again, how in the world are you gonna put it over your head to eat your soul? You gotta figure that out yourself, baby, <laughs> okay? But once again, it's 6048. Moving over to the next one is 6124. And to be honest with you, I like view E and view A, these two, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. And on this pattern, um, you're going to need some buttons. If you do view D, you're going to need the buttons, which you see the model wearing. And then the only other notion you're gonna need is a 22 inch zipper. The reason why I picked this one up because I feel like this is a great staple pattern that you could put in your wardrobe to hack to make other things with this pattern. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's 6124. Next pattern, <laughs> you guys would be, <laughs> You guys could tell why I picked this up because this one may be on the summer list and you'll hear why later on for that, all right? It's 61.55, bam. Now you guys know currently I am behind the scenes and yes, I've been sewing behind the scenes, okay? Um, it's 61.55 and this pattern is a pant pattern and you could literally color block your pants, why not? Now you guys know currently behind the scenes, I am working on a transitional from winter to summer and spring collection right now, all right? There will be some sew alongs with this collection. I will give you that because I know a lot of you guys have asked me in DM like, hey, Rochelle, would you do a sew along for this pattern? Would you do a sew along for that pattern? I'm just gonna put it like this. I'm doing some sew along. I'm not gonna tell you what patterns I'm doing or anything. All you need to know is there's some sew alongs that's gonna be happening coming up on the channel, all right? <laughs> along with pattern reviews. Um, and then on top of that, I am also doing a color block button down shirt. You'll see that coming up on the channel, all right? But it's 61.55 and I feel like this pattern, this color block can go with the shirt that I will be making. That's also color block, all right? But it's 61.55. Moving over to the next one is 62.31. I feel that this pattern is a good wardrobe builder pattern. You have your pants, your skirt, and your little jacket situation. I like this pattern. Once again, it's 6231. In terms of notions, you're gonna need zippers and hook and eyes and all that good stuff. Just be prepared for that. But I feel like this would be an easy to sew pattern as well. What I'm most interested in is the jacket and the pants. I'm not here for that skirt, all right? But once again, it's 6231. And the last pattern is 6226. I could not pass this up. It is a bomber jacket, okay? Um, but I like this. And for me, I think I would probably use some chemise or some satin fabric in order to do it, just like you see on this pattern. Um, in terms of notion, you're just gonna need an 18 inch separating zipper and some elastic for the bottom and the sleeves. But other than that, I like this pattern. It's a Project Runaway pattern, by the way, as well. But once again, it's 6226. All right, well, those are all of the patterns in the first part. Now, I don't think I'm gonna do a part two because, like I said, I'm trying to sew behind the scenes. Um, and sometimes these pattern videos get a, get, is a lot, you know what I'm saying? 
But anyway, those are all the patterns that I picked up at Hobby Lobby in the first batch. I'll con consider doing the second batch or whatever, or a video telling you guys like what patterns I find to be a staple that I would sew up, all right? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. Talking money, don't talk to me. Uh, I be over here where the bosses be. Uh, pockets on thick, cause I eat my greens. Uh, way too hot, 3000 degrees. No pitch, please, cameras flashing. I'm VIP, I'm a big deal. My life a movie, I'm the one they want.